welcome back to Beauty Therapy with Gen X. My name is Jennifer Massad. I am your hostess and I am your beauty therapist. In today's tip of the week, I brought in one of my best friends, Demetrius Glenn, and we're going to talk about skincare for melanated men. Right, right. Well, thanks for being here, Demetrius. Okay, y'all, I might you might hear me call him like DD or Shay Shay, <laughs> which are his nicknames, terms of endearment, because uh, we're basically brothers from no, another mother. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell everybody what you do. So, what I'm I'm a fitness coach and a fitness mentor as well, and a mentor in a juvenile detention center. So, I have a collaboration of working in fitness and sports and mentoring for young males. Over the years, we've talked about beauty and skin as it relates to gender and skin tone and culture. So you're gonna see us talk a little bit more about a lot of things uh, because he's gonna be coming back on with me. We might have a Shay Shay and Jay segment, I'll let you know. <laughs> but in the meantime, Didi, tell us, tell me what your question is for today. Uh, my question is, what do you recommend or tips do you have for skincare or optimal skincare for melanated skin, in, in particular for males, you know, for males who have darker skin, okay. for lack of a better word? So um, that's a great question and one that really, it can be an answer for everybody. So in a nutshell, I don't care who you are because everyone possesses melanin, right? It's one of the building blocks of our skin and actually the world, as you said. So. My basic skincare routine will work for every melanated person. So that coconut oil to wash your face and remove your makeup, an alcohol-free witch hazel, which he already uses. And then the third step that I like, I'm a big fan, you know this already, of natural oils. Every oil has like a little different gift that it can do. Mm -hmm. So although in beauty therapy lessons, we would break down specifically how you live, what you eat, what prescriptions you're on, and then we also add in genetics as a factor to your skin. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing would be for you, evening primrose oil, because it helps with tone and texture. And on melanated skin, if you have more melanin, like we clearly have different levels of melanin, right? So on him, his irritated skin, if it produces melanin, it's going to look a lot darker on him and also on me. And it will be just as prominent. It just depends on the depth of the skin tone. So definitely evening primrose oil for tone and texture. And then the other thing that I think is so important that I think is part of nature's magic is turmeric, y'all. So turmeric root is fabulous. You've probably seen it or eaten it in like a lot of ethnic or curry dishes. It can be very potent. It's a natural anti-inflammatory. And what I recommend to brighten melanated skin, particularly on men too, would be to do a turmeric mask. So you can do that two to five times a week. Find a recipe that works for you and leave it on your skin a minimum of 20 minutes. You'd be surprised at how much it'll brighten the skin, especially when you have more melanin. Now on folks like me, it's gonna stain my face. So you could probably do it same day you walk out the door. Me, I'm going to do it on my day off. <laughs> Although I love orange circles under my eyes, maybe not the rest of the world. <laughs> does that help? It does, it does. Okay. Well, that's our tip for the week, guys. I'm so glad you stopped by, Didi. We're going to have some more conversations because melanin and beauty, gender and culture all matter when it comes to beauty therapy. So, as always, I like to end each video with a little food for thought. Anytime I have a guest, I want to hear your thoughts on wisdom. So, Dee Dee, did you bring us a quote? No, I'm going to give you a, some words that my mentor gave me starting from when I was about 14 years old. Okay. Uh, the great Seth L. Bailey. And so his words are, the hardest thing for a man to do is to make a decision and follow it through. And enough said there. <laughs> we could talk about that all day. All right, y'all, as always, thank you for tuning in. If you feel compelled, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's grow and co-create together. As always, don't forget, be you, be true, and love what you do. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye. See you later.